Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show 2009, checking out stuff from KW Cabs. And I've got Kurt Wybernick with me here. Kurt, how are you doing, man? Good, good to see you. Hey, you've got some beautiful looking cabs. Why Thank don't you, you take us through your line here? Tell us what it's all about. Well, we have a hardwood speaker cabinet that's also ported design. Every cabinet we have is a ported design. Uh, yeah. They feature two main features. Obviously, the porting uh, really enhances bass response, even in the smallest of cabinets. And as you can clearly see, they are all hardwoods. Uh, everything from basic model, which our base models are made of poplar, all the way up to guys like this, where 5A maple and Babinga inlays and Pal Ferro and you name it, we use it. All right, so in, in terms of cabs, there's form and function, obviously. You've you definitely got some, some cool looking form here. I mean, 5A maple flame, that's that, that's just that's ridiculous, <laughs> cool. But as far as design, I mean, you were talking about you can do anything for anybody, but I assume there's a certain kind of thing you roll with that you've you know, put your own touches into as far as uh, how the air moves inside and, and whatnot. Uh, I mean, talk about this basic model I'm seeing here in front of me. Uh, well, we got we actually have uh, two different models here: the ST1, which are these two parallel ferro cabs, and this poplar cab, which are a standard one by twelves. Um, they both use uh, three small ports on the bottom, and we vary the port size depending on the type of lumber we're using and the size of the cabinet. Um, and what that does is try to optimize the base response for for each cabinet, not just one set specific design that goes across the board. This, this guy here is uh, our newest line, the signature line, the SIG-1, um, and it's really just taking the ST-1 to a whole new level. It's a slightly oversized cab, uh, so it's going to sound even just a little bit bigger, um, and it's using nothing but the absolute best in terms of lumber. Uh, 5A maple, really beautiful stuff and inlaid with babinga, you know, you can't really go wrong. <laughs> a lot of people think about what kind of wood they're using when it comes to acoustic guitars, but when it comes to cabs, they may not even realize they've got, you know, particle board or whatnot, they may not care. But when it comes to different kinds of woods in different, you know, cabs and cab sizes, you know, what, what should people know with, with some of these woods you're using? As far well, as, you know, what's warm, what's dark? They should know exactly the same thing, like you said. When it is on an acoustic guitar, it's just a sound resonating inside of a box, and it is absolutely no different with a speaker cabinet. The sound is resonating inside of a box. What the box is made out of really makes a difference. Major manufacturers use particle board, plywood, like you said, particularly just because they are predictable, and they can make thousands of them one after another. They're going to sound exactly the same. But not everybody wants that sound. Somebody might want that sound to be a little warmer, a little darker, a little brighter, whatever. And just like on an acoustic, the wood will show through in a cabinet. It's not quite a night and day thing, but it's really all, when it comes down to tone, it's really all about subtleties. Yeah, not, not for everybody, obviously. It, well, not for everybody. Some guys just want what they can grab and plug right into, and that's, that's absolutely fine, too. You know, it's all about making music. But uh, for those who want to set themselves apart and really love their instrument, love their sound, this is the way to do it. I want to take a look at this over here because it's not quite finished, but it gives us a chance to see what's going on with all the handiwork you put into it. Tell us about the stage of production this thing is in. Well, this is just about done. It's actually got a, just a coat of sealer on it. It was finished up uh, just this morning, actually. Uh, and. Uh, the construction is the same throughout all the cabinet line. Uh, it's all dovetailed construction. There are no screws holding those joints together. It's that's all woodworking. That is all high-end joinery. Uh, and again, it's all solid hardwoods without. The only pieces of plywood you'll find on these cabinets are the baffle board and the bracings on the inside. And that's out of necessity more than anything else. But this guy right here, it went through coming from a rough piece of lumber to a stage, actually, much like this, where it starts to get fitted up on pieces as part of the baffle with, it, with its finished front edge, and as part of the port baffle, actually, uh, which is getting ready for this for this empty shelled 4x12. And this one's made out of flame maple and paduck. And they go through the joinery stage, a lot of rough edges. It starts with a, this starts as a tree, and it ends up like that, you know. It ends up like one of those guys. 
Kurt, if people want to find out more, where can they go online? Uh, www.kwcabs.com. All right. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.